<laughs> we are live. So welcome back gamers. We are rounding out our special edition for Friday Night Frights. Yes, it is a Monday, but it's a Memorial Day weekend event. I have two videos left for you in the launch event. With those two videos, I am going to be discussing the last set of Steve Alton's books in this one. And I am going to be talking about Steve Alton's special project coming up later this summer in the final video for the launch. Now, as I said before, this is not going to be our last Maneater video at all. This is just the final video for the Friday Night Frights special event launch. Uh, today on the, uh, on the game, we are going to be doing a mission called Grouper Dynamics. I know you guys are probably getting tired of seeing me eat groupers. It's just the way the missions are going. But first... <laughs> The shameless promotion, which as I said before, I have exactly no shame whatsoever in promoting any of Steve Alton's books. I am about ready to tell you about the Lock series. The Lock series eventually crosses over with the Meg series, but first you want to pick up the Lock. Yes, I'm talking about as in the Lock, as in Scotland, as in the Lockless Monster. That's what these books are about, or at least the first one is. You really don't run into any much of a crossover in the Lock, but then you come to the next book in the series, which is called Vostok. Vostok, you take a trip out to Antarctica because they found a submersible sub. Ugh. They found a submerged glacial lake while drilling in the ice in Antarctica and have found a thriving eco-source. Now, you're not going to run into the same creature that you ran into in the lock, although it is mentioned. You run into a different type of creature in this one, which is basically an alligator on steroids, but I really still didn't give much about that away. You still have to read to find out why exactly it's so big. Is it a prehistoric creature, or is it something else that became so big because of another reason. Find out, you have to read yourself. This is the first time that you're actually going to see the Lock series and the Meg series cross over because your main character in the book, The Lock and Vostok, by the name of Zachary Wallace, you know, he's a bit of an empath, and he has a dream and has some very important information for Jonas Taylor that may or may not help and saving his family line somewhere else later on down the road. With that, you will also see the crossover in the book Night Stalkers is where you'll see that conversation continue on about that uh, information that Zach Wallace has for Jonas Taylor. After the Vostok book, you will run into a new book, which is actually still on its way out uh, because it's uh, having production problems at the moment, but it's Lock heaven's lake and it appears we may be revisiting the same type of creature from the first lock movie well that's not where the crossovers end though there is another novel out there by steve alton called shark man and that takes place in florida and there's a specific laboratory in florida that is used in the creation of the shark man that is briefly mentioned in meg <clears throat> generations for a very specific life or death reason find out that reason you just have to read if there is more reference to that later on down the road in that book i will have to come back and let you know as i am only about maybe about 60 percent of the way through that book so that's pretty much going to do it for the books that tend to cross over with the, with the Meg series. In the next video, I will finally reveal what special project Steve Alton is working on. And this is a project that everyone all over the world can enjoy, especially because nobody's really getting out right now to any of the theme parks or anything else like that. So this is a way for you to enjoy the summer in a very very unique way fans of hell's aquarium will be very pleased and you'll see what i mean in the next video but after blah 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 blah, 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 blah we will edit that part out anyway <laughs> That's enough of me running my mouth about books. I'm sure you're here to see me eat some shit as a shark. And as you just heard, I am not alone tonight. I am joined by my good friend Dredd, who also now has a copy of this game. He's trying to catch up to me. So that way, when the multiplayer and the other DLCs are released, him and I can go right at it and give you some more videos about this as a team. So, on to our mission for tonight. We are doing Grouper Dynamics. In this one, we're going to find a 
cluster of groupers that should be hidden in a sewer somewhere. Let's go ahead and find that. Oh, look, the musket decided to come down right in front of me. And you're dead. If you just swim around and hit your sonar, they'll eventually come up on your map as question marks. So that way it makes it easier to find all that stuff. I yeah, didn't realize that. Something. I don't know what the hell it is, though. No, what, is it like a stick sitting up? It looks like a, um, like an underwater cooler. Oh, yeah. Uh, bite it. Um, yeah, nothing happened. It's not happening? No, it's not happening. It was right directly next to the chest that I just ate. Oh, okay. That might just be part of the scenery. I see these grouper up ahead of me. But from the map, it made it look like they were in some type of cave. What is that off to my side here? There's something over here about 70 some meters. Yes. Not really a gourmand. The boat shark the will eat just about anything. Oh, looks like they're not. Yeah, let's uh, let's ignore that because that's not the mission we're working on. <laughs> I just got myself a human kill. Like I said, I wasn't even the mission we were supposed to be working on. <laughs> oh, Jesus. It's a boss. It looks like I just found my entranceway. Oh, no. He is very fast. Okay. Yeah, I'm too weak to be fighting you yet, dude. It's... Crocodile, alligator, and the one musky are um, your bosses for the first level, and you won't be able to do all of them right away. I think I still have the crocodile and alligator mission left to do in that, but I wasn't ready for it yet. Oh, looks like I got something up ahead here. It's a license plate. Oh, what are you? Oh, great. There's a gator in here. Get myself a little bit of distance here and spin around on ya. in a battle with a gator and I won well I honestly did not expect to win that one hey what were you saying oh no I'm just trying to get away from this freaking gator man like it's chasing after me and everything what I did after a while is I just went after those catches and then just started eating just a few things 
after that, I was pretty much able to um, level up enough to, to stand up to the uh, the lower level gators. Oh, you bastard! I didn't even realize you were coming after me. Gator chunks, oh, get him. Oh. Looks like there's a landmark up ahead I might be able to grab. Lake yeah, it's going to take you to the next layer level, even though you haven't done every single thing in that one area, because like I said, you'll have to go back and forth a few times for some stuff. Okay. So, yeah, if you finished at least the main, the first three missions, that being the one musky, um, the catfish, and I, I forget what the other one was off the top of my head. Make sure I'm still in the right area here. It looks like I am. So let's definitely group of dynamics. Let's double check. Make sure that's definitely. to assure the Antolini crime family that this footage will in no way be used in the final edit of our program. Oh, this motherfucker's shooting at me. Same thing going on right now. Ah, oh, there's three of them fuckers. Oh, and I can't even see where I'm going. Oh, you dirty the bastard. The liver oil can now be extracted for use in <laughs> dietary supplements and hemorrhoid medications. <laughs> Respawn? I didn't realize I swam out somewhere where somebody was holding a gun. Oh man, you're being hunting? Or hunted? 
Yeah, I think I swam out um, where one of the hunter boats was, and I did kind of have a human snack along the way. Looks like it might be a trickier, uh, <laughs> trickier level for me to get uh, get through. Denhorse Lake has reawakened candid public debate about human progress. All right, Mr. Narrator, you care to elaborate on that? Because otherwise, that just really was unimportant. not gonna eat a human on my way to doing this this time few sharks that can do that. Yep. I'm going to try to regain my bearings here. Got thrown off slightly by fucking with uh, that muskie that tried to attack me. Like a dumbass. Yeah, muskies are assholes. That's weird. How did I get off target this time? Oh, wait, I think I know. Muskie, you try to attack me and you're gonna regret it. In the kill or be killed world of the sea, performance enhancing mutagens provide benefits that could mean the difference between life and death. That's interesting. How did I even get over there then?
right, so that means I'm over here. I need. I think I need to get over here somewhere. I may have to just go after that damn, uh, I may have to go after that damn, um, Barracuda before anything else. What's up, baby? Sounds good to me, honey. Oh yeah, there's no way I'm getting that thing. At least not yet. There's got to be a way to get over in here. So I might not be realizing. Like I did it earlier and didn't realize it. <laughs> it might be right here. Let's go ahead and swim over there and see. Why are you running away, Barracuda? You were just fat and so freaking cool. There you are. Get them, I bet. Fine, we'll do the what a dump one then since we're right fucking there.
see you. around Trash Island, where they enjoy a steady diet of hypodermic needles and used pregnancy tests. No, oh, I got rid of that. This protein supplement has zero additives, so the shark doesn't have to worry about hidden artificial colors or flavors. Alright, so for now, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our grotto. Regain my bearings. <clears throat> Once more, the shark turns back to this place of centered calm. Now, yeah, cut the video there and make my adjustments and come back hopefully with the completed.